So hello everyone, uh, I'm again back uh, as always <laughs> with a numerical in this tutorial. This numerical is based basically on the Gaussian free model equation and before that we need to find out the effective height etc and we have a second part of the numerical which I'll again discuss in the second or rather in the next tutorial. So till now we need to solve and we need to I like we need to see how this is solved. So what is the question given over here? The question is nothing but determine the effective height of a stack. Which is a very very simple question. Just put in the formula and you will get the thing. Still, for the sake of simplicity, I'm I'm solving this for you. This over here. Ah uh, yes. So you have few data that is the stack height, which is nothing but capital sorry small h. The exit diameter, which is nothing but d the wind velocity which is nothing but u the air temperature air temperature being the ambient temperature isn't it uh, we are losing focus in this video so please uh, like uh, take care of this it's the ambient temperatures which is nothing but ta now what is the barometric pressure we have a p factor also over here the p factor is this stack gas velocity which is nothing but Vs and we also have a stack gas temperature which is nothing but Ps. So we have each and every component given in this equation or uh, sorry in this uh, problem. We just need to put it in the equation and solve for and get the value for it. So I'll just solve it. It's a, a three minute problem over here. The so solution is and for the for the like for for information it is. To be noted that these temperatures are given in degree centigrade or degree Celsius, whereas to put these uh, values in the equation, we need to have it in kelvins. So we have a simple conversion from centigrade to kelvin, which is nothing but 13 degree centigrade is nothing but 13 plus 273 degree kelvin. So we just need to convert this. Ta is is equal to uh, sorry 13 degree centigrade, which is 13 degrees plus 273 degrees. Kelvin, which is nothing but 286 Kelvin. And similarly, we have TS also 149 degrees centigrade, which is 13 plus 149 comes to 400. Sorry, mm, I mean, sorry, I'm so sorry, it's 273 plus 149, which is. 422 degree what we need to do is we just need to put these values in the equation the big equation holland equation rather over here which you have d into vs by u into 1.5 plus 2.68 into 10 to the power minus 3 into p into d into ts minus ta by is. So just put the equation in this case and get the value from it. So I'm not writing the entire or everything over here because you have p in millibars. Everything is right in its own units. You just had to convert this temperature units. You have it converted also. Put the values directly in this and you'll get a result. For me, this result is actually 6.6 .6 meters. Please tally it. If not, then tell me personally. And so what is the effective height over here? The effective height is H is nothing but H plus del H. You know, if this is the dune and this is, sorry, this is the stack and this is the P and this is the center line over here. So this one is, will be your delta H and this one is a small H and together it becomes H. Just nothing but this. So H is nothing but 203 plus 6.66 .66 meters. Now, based on this value, we will solve a second numerical. So, after that, uh, almost the entire syllabus will be completed. We'll have just, we'll, I'll be left with only one or two maximum tutorials for this session. So, talking about this numerical, uh, stay tuned because in the very next tutorial, I'll be coming up with the most. Uh, descriptive part of this okay so till then take care and stay tuned